Hey everybody. So the last couple days I've talked about some teams that are off to really bad starts. Want to change things up a little bit today, get some positivity going on the channel and talk about a team that is off to a great start this season and that is the Carolina Hurricanes. Before we get into the video, I would just like to remind everyone to please hit that like button and give this video a thumbs up. That greatly, greatly helps the channel. And if you're new to the channel or not yet subscribed for whatever reason, please hit that subscribe button as well as we are pushing towards 1,000 subscribers here at Off The Wall Hockey. So Carolina, 6-2 through their first eight games, 12 points, leading the Metropolitan Division and off to a really, really good start this season across the board. Um, they went to the Eastern Conference Final last year before losing to Boston, and early on this season, they look like a team that could be right back in the mix to go to the Eastern Conference Final again. Obviously, it's still very early. We're only eight games in, but uh, they, they look like a, a real threat in the East, and they have played well out of the gate. Um, They've got 28 goals for, 21 goals against, so they're playing pretty well defensively. They're scoring, which obviously with a lineup like Carolina's, you would expect them to score. Um, they're 3-1 and one at home and 3-1 and one on the road, so they're playing well both at home and on the road, which is important and something that you want to see them keep up all season long. Uh, if you're going to be a top team, you've got to be able to win you know, both on the road and at home. And they obviously do a great job protecting their home ice and, and winning at home, but they're playing well on the road as well, which is going to be an important thing for them to keep up all season if they want to continue to stay at or near the top of the Metro division. Um, overall, it's been a very good start for them as a team. Uh, they're finding ways to win games. They're playing well, and they've got a lot of players that are playing well as well. Um, Dougie Hamilton defenseman obviously top pair defenseman for the Hurricanes is off to an incredible start offensively with five goals already and nine points in eight games for Carolina. Um, Tivu Taravainen and Andrei Svechnikov are both having great starts with eight points apiece so they're point per game players to start the year. Uh, Svechnikov seems to have taken that next step. Um, obviously he's still a really young player and somebody who was good for the team last year, but still, you know, finding his way in the NHL. He, so far this year, it seems like Sveshnikov has taken that next step and is ready to not only be a, a solid NHL player, but a very, very good NHL player. And he's certainly been that so far this season. Um, Eric Howla, who they brought in from Vegas, is off to a great start with six goals already in the first eight games. So, um, huge third line help there with with Howla and Ryan Dezingle, who came over from the Columbus Blue Jackets in free agency, also has seven points in eight games. So those two um, have really, really helped out the secondary scoring and, and given them more than just the top players. To be honest with you, Sebastian Ajo has not had a good start to this season. He's only got three points in the first eight games. He's not playing all that well. This was a team that was largely led by Sebastian Ajo last season. They've brought in enough secondary scoring and, and help for Ajo to where they can still play really well and win games without Ajo playing all that great. So he only has three points, but other players have picked up the slack. Tara Vinen, Sveshnikov, Howla, Dezingle, Hamilton. Jacob Slavin's got five points as a, on the back end as a defenseman. They are getting really, really good production out of a lot of different players. And obviously that, that helps out a lot in, in winning games. You know, when you, it's one thing to have great high-end talent and rely on that talent. But when you can get, you know, help from the bottom six, when you can get help from your defense offensively, when you can get, you know, other players to step up when those top players aren't necessarily playing at the top of their game, that really goes a long way in making you a you know real top tier team in the NHL. And I think as you look around the league, you see that most of the top tier teams are teams that don't just rely on a couple of players, but are able to get help throughout up and down the lineup. Uh, the goaltending also as well for um, Carolina has been really, really good. 
They don't even, you know, Peter Morazic and James Reimer are splitting starts. They're, they don't even have a full-time starter. Both guys have played four games so far. Morazic is 4-0. and He has been outstanding. Morazic is 4-0 and with a 919 save percentage and a 1.94 goals against. I mean, those are Vesna-like numbers to start the season for Morazic. Obviously, you don't want to talk about awards and stuff too much because it's way too early. But... That's a heck of a start for Peter Morazic in goal. And going into this season, the one question I had about Carolina was their goaltending. I didn't I didn't know if Peter if a duo of James Reimer and Peter Morazic could really, you know, be a high-end goaltending duo in the NHL. And Morazic had a great season last year, but consistency's been an issue for him throughout his career. So, you know, you wonder, you know, with him playing so well last season, can he do it again this season? Well, he's off to a really darn good start, that's for sure. I mean, 919 save percentage is outstanding, and a goals against under two, though that is, those are Vesna level numbers for Morazic to start the year. And then James Reimer, who's also started four games, hasn't been as good, but has been pretty good. He's 2-2, two and two, but he's got a 914 save percentage, so his save percentage is also outstanding. And a 301 goals against. The goal against is a little high, but uh, the save percentage is, is fantastic as well for Reimer. So you know, I, f- I feel like the team just hasn't played as well in games that Reimer has started compared to te- uh, games that Morazic has started. But th- they're getting great goaltending. Um they're, they're getting, you know, scoring from up and down the lineup. Their defense is playing well. They, they, they're, uh, I believe, eighth in the league in goals against per game. So they're a top 10 defensive team. The package seems to all be there for Carolina. And, um, you know, we'll see if they can continue this all season long. I think uh, that's going to be something to watch for sure. But they're certainly a talented team. They're certainly a team with the ability to continue this all season long and be one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference. And they showed that last year when they went to the Eastern Conference final. And um, now now I think they've got a, they've got a chance to, to possibly do that again. When we look at the road ahead for, for the Carolina Hurricanes, they've got four games remaining in the month of October. They are at Anaheim tonight. Um, Anaheim's also off to a good start, so that's, that's not going to be an easy game to say the least. But um, then they've got five days off, and they don't play again until next Thursday when they're at Columbus. That's a very winnable game against a divisional opponent who I don't think is nearly as good as the Hurricanes. Then they go home after a long road trip, a four-game road trip over the course of almost two full weeks. They finally go home uh, and play Chicago on the Saturday the 26th. Then they are home against Calgary on the 29th, and that finishes up the month of October for Carolina. The homestand continues on November 1st when they play uh, the Detroit Red Wings, and then they have the New Jersey Devils on Saturday, November 2nd. So a a very you know a very strong stretch here of winnable games for um, the Hurricanes. I think Detroit and New Jersey, obviously both winnable games, teams that aren't as good as the Hurricanes. Chicago is a winnable game. Um, Columbus is a... They're all winnable games, honestly. But I would expect Carolina to beat teams like Columbus, Chicago, um, New Jersey, and Detroit. Calgary, that's a pretty tough matchup, but certainly winnable. And then, um, actually, I think Carolina has... No, they have not played Calgary yet. I thought they had played Calgary yet, but they have not. So that's their first matchup against... uh, Calgary, that will be a tough game, but you know, Calgary's off to a kind of 500 ish start, nothing super spectacular. And uh, Anaheim at Anaheim's a tough game, but certainly winnable as well. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's been a good start for the Hurricanes, better than I expected. If you remember when I picked uh, my, do I did my predictions video at the start of the year, I picked the Hurricanes, I believe, to finish sixth in the division or fifth. I picked them to finish fifth in the division and miss the playoffs. Um, I thought they'd be the first team to miss the playoffs. I'll tell you, it looks like they're going to be a top three team um, to in that division this year. I think I was probably wrong about the Hurricanes, a little too down on their goaltending, more than I should have been. Um, 
they they definitely look like they're going to finish in the top three. I still think Washington or Pittsburgh could win the division. I think it's going to be a really, really close all season long between the top teams in the Metro. But I do think with the way that they've started and the talent on that team, the, the underrated defense core, um, I think Carolina probably does end up finishing in the top three and will once again be in the playoffs this year. And as we've seen, all you got to do is get into the playoffs. Once you get into the playoffs, anything can happen. So really good start for Carolina, and I'm happy for them. I'm happy for their fans. And um, 12 points leading the Metro Division. We'll see how they keep it up all season long, but it's definitely been a first good or a good first couple weeks of the season. So with that, like, comment, share, subscribe. Follow on social media. All those links are down in the description below. If you'd like to further support the channel, the links to our Patreon and merchandise store are in the description as well. Keep spreading the word about this channel. Let's keep this thing growing. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.